Hey Destiny Church, welcome to the 75 New Midweek Devotion. Today we're going to continue our discussion about margin. This last Sunday, Pastor Chad talked about margin and described it as what we have to offer versus what is expected or required of us. The gap in between is margin. Unfortunately, in this culture, we don't really have much margin. Uh, we wear busyness as a badge of honor. And when people ask us, how are you? You know, a lot of our response is busy. And we feel good about that because we equate that to success or happiness. When in actuality, it's quite the opposite. The less margin we have in our life, the less opportunity we have to be happy. Um, when you think about margin, think about what you have in your gas tank right now. If you wanted to fill your car up and go on a trip, how far would you get on the tank of gas that you have? Every morning when you wake up, how far will you get on the margin that you have? How much gas do you have in your tank? Margin can affect us in a number of ways. Lack of margin is what affects us though. It can affect us financially. If you have money in the bank but not enough to cover the bills that are coming in, you don't have any margin. It can affect us physically. When you get home every evening from work, how much time do you have for your loved ones, for people that you care about to spend with them? You don't have much time or you just want to go to bed, you don't have any margin. It can also affect us mentally. As things keep coming at us on a daily basis, hourly, minute by minute in this world, how much space do you have in your head to deal with those things as they come at you? But most importantly, it can affect us spiritually. One time I heard someone say that the definition of an emergency is that when your needs outweigh your resources or when your needs are greater than your resources, that creates an emergency. When we don't spend time spiritually, when we don't spend time in the Bible, when we don't spend time in prayer, when we don't spend time with God, we don't have any margin. We don't have the availability to deal with issues as they come at us. And we're not special. We, we all think that we have to be busy and that we have all of these things that we have to get done. We don't have time for margin. But in reality, Jesus was an example of that. Nine different times in the Bible, Jesus got away. He went away to have margin, to have time with God. One of my favorite ones is Mark 135. It says, very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, went off to a solitary place where he prayed. And it goes on to talk about how everyone was looking for Jesus. That's the idea that we should be following. That is the path that we should follow. We also should remember that sometimes God gives us margin and we just don't realize it. Um, one of the things I have is an hour drive to work every day and an hour drive home. Well, for me, that was built in margin that I just wasn't taking advantage of. Even though I had that little bit of margin, I kept trying to fill it up with things. And if we continue to fill up our storehouse with earthly things, then we don't have any room for those spiritual things that we can help, that can help us to uh, avert an emergency down the road. Three quick things to discuss when it comes to margin is recognize, create, and protect. You have to recognize that you need the margin. And it really shouldn't be that hard. If you look in your daily life, you're gonna see really quickly that you don't have any margin that your schedules overlap, that all of those words on that page run together because you don't have any time for anything other than what you absolutely have to do. You have to recognize that you need that. The next thing is create. Sit down, be intentional, look at your calendar, talk to your family, and create some time for margin. Be like Jesus, just get up in the morning and go off and hide. Spend some time with God, spend some time in prayer. And the last thing is protect. Once you've recognized that you need it, you've created that time, you have to protect it. If we don't protect that time, we're so quickly gonna go back to the, the ways that we had before, where we're scheduling things one minute apart, where we have no gaps. Now look, if you, if you think about what Pastor Chad said this week with a page, a piece of paper, there are margins on the paper, and they're there for a purpose. If we ran all of the words together with no periods and filled every inch of that paper with words, it would be extremely hard to read. But we try to live our lives like that every day, and it's just not real, it's not possible. We shouldn't try to do that because it's not helping us, it's not helping our families, and it's certainly not helping our church or our spiritual walk with God. So I hope that you will recognize, create, and protect 
the margin that you need in your life. Destiny Church, I want to thank you for joining me today to talk about margin. We have about a month left to 75 me. And if you need more information, text the number at the bottom of the screen. Otherwise, please have a great week and God bless.